good afternoon and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on DaVinci Resolve. Nothing technical, don't worry. Just how I put a slideshow together in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, mainly just playing about with different bits and pieces and see which one I liked. I've come up with this one, which you'll see in a minute when I, when I bring up DaVinci Resolve. Um, I did pay for DaVinci Resolve, but the only reason why I did it was I got this little device from it. The right way up, there we go. Um, the speed editor. It came as a, as a job lot. You bought DaVinci Resolve, so ooh, try that again. You got DaVinci Resolve and they threw in this speed editor for free. Or you could say it was the other way around. You bought the speed editor and they threw in DaVinci Resolve um, 17 for free. So yeah, um, win, 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 I thought. So yeah, I, I didn't mind paying that if I was getting another keyboard for it. Plus you've got more bits in DaVinci Resolve. Um, the paid version than the free version. Okay, so, you know, um, why did I go to DaVinci Resolve? I could have used what, the um, Adobe Premiere Pro, is it? Um, which I was using for a while. And I was going to pay for that. But when I looked up how much they wanted for it, and DaVinci's one was free then, so I thought, well, I'll give that a go and see what it's like. Um, and I've probably um, saved myself a load of money for not paying for the Adobe one. Sorry, Adobe. But there you go. You took away payment for your programs, you know, and put it onto this... Uh, monthly payment plans and things. Oh, never mind. Anyway, so I'm, I, I use DaVinci Resolve to, to do all this, which is, I find now, quite a nice program to use. I'll get used to using it. Right, so let's call up DaVinci Resolve, shall we? Oh, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And um, the first, uh, obviously the first thing I put down is my title. Um, just welcome people to the channel and who, who I am. Um, so yeah, uh, and then we go on to the pictures. And the way I done this was, if I make this just a little bit smaller so we can see it all, there it is. Um, I put a row of pictures in, I copied them and then pasted them in at the top line, right? So we have now two rows of pictures. Take this one out. And we're dealing with these down the bottom here. And all I did was I just clicked on a picture, go up to effects, and you should, oops, I'm trying to kill you. Gotcha. There we are. First one here, blur size, and you can blur it out to what you want. So, you know, um, you can really blur it out or not so much. So, yeah. Both on. Four. Oh, it's very hard to get the coat to fall off. There we go. Right, there we go. Right. So there's, there's your blurred effect. It's done by that. But you do it on each picture. So each picture you click on um, should be exactly the same. Uh, says he, hopefully. That will border. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one, didn't I? I'm on the bottom one. Should be on that one. There we go. That's better. There, the roll on four. So all along the bottom. And then I go to the top one. And then you can switch the bottom one off and switch the top one on so you can see what you're doing. So now um, on this one here, we put on an effect. Um, to uh, make this picture effect, which is the VE, and you find it in your effects library. Um, and I think I have mine, I don't have it in there. That's the right, that's why. Effects, there we go. Uh, this one here, DVE, and just plop that on each one. 
Now to be able to use this one, we have to go into Fusion to adjust things. So here we are in Fusion. So we click on the one we want, open it up, and this is the one we need to um, adjust. So we click on it and it comes up. If it doesn't come up, if you're doing this, click on one like this, double click it, and then go back here, double click it, and you'll find it pop up quite nicely. Sometimes you don't know why. Um, and now you can adjust whatever you're doing um, in here. So um, you can uh, you can move your marker to the front like that. Uh, I've got mine set to twenty for a second. Yeah. but minus two point two. So that's that's your first uh, marker point. And then what you would do is you just zoom this all the way to the other end. If I had my uh, device on my desk, I could do this easy, but never mind, we'll do it the wrong way. Oh, and back up the other end. Come back a bit. Okay. And you just set it to zero, which makes it now it's flat. So one, 20, minus 20 tilts it a little bit. And um, zero brings it back up straight. And there we are. It's as simple as that. This up here um, puts it in the center, because you will find it's probably over here. So you've got to center it, 5-5, five, five, puts it in the center of your frame. Uh, and all this is set for in. Um, you can do motion blur if you want, but I don't, didn't bother much about with any of that. So yeah. Um, so let's go back to, uh, our timeline down there. There we go. So now we have this effect. Now the border you can put on by dropping down here in the effects, and you can put your border on. And I put a border on, and then I just did a nice little um, corner bend on it because I thought it was quite nice, better than a square corner. So yeah, excuse me, time for a slurp. So that, and, and that's as easy as that, you know. Um, I mean, this is a very easy uh, slideshow, nothing, nothing spectacular. Um, so, uh, uh, and these, if we uh, open this up a little bit more. Sorry, I was distracted by a squirrel then. Uh, it's clambering about outside now, it's not. Um, on this, uh, dissolve blur uh, and all that does is just um, when, when you go across it it just blurs it through to the next one you come up to the next one and that's on that's on both so you know this one is already blurred I put it on both so there we go it's, it's just blurs it across so yeah so um, that's how it runs and if you look at it right, let me turn back on again. Okay. And if I uh, just click on this, you can see it comes quite nicely. It's a bit slow on this because I'm running it on a bit, a bit monitor. It's quicker on the small one. Yeah, a bit smoother on the small one. But that does smooth out once it's rendered. And that's how it goes all the way through. There we go. And I just blur in and blur out all the way through. How exciting. Yeah, all right. And then you bang a bit of music on the bottom. And obviously add your end title. And you can fade things out at the end. So um, I, I just generally just sort of fade things out. So then it fades into the next phase and save at the very far end, you just phase out. So yeah, and, and that's it. Simple as that. Very quick and easy. <laughs> Says it. Yes. Um, I will have a link to a channel um, that does slideshows and everything. Uh, there's a couple of channels. Um, I'll go put in uh, to, uh, to 
show you how it's done properly. The slide shows they do. I mean, believe me, they're experts. Me? No. Um, and also, I'll, I'll put a link in to the guy that uh, tells you all about the, um, the little device that I've got around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, dear. It's terrible, isn't it? Uh, there it is. I have got too much stuff on my desk. The um, speed editor. So you can you can then um, speed edit. And it's just decided to work now. There we go. See, and I can whiz through these lovely now with the speed editor. Very nice and smooth all the way through. Um, but uh, that's a bit more in depth. Uh, and really does uh, does need. Um, an expert uh, to tell you how to do that, which I am not. Uh, and I don't pretend to be either. So there we go. Um, so yeah, that, that's what it's like. It's as easy as that. And as I say, I know everybody has their preferences on where to do it, what to do it. But um, there's one or two people out there that are really, really good at doing this. Um, we all know who they are. If people use DaVinci Resolve, no doubt they've they've popped off to the YouTube world and had a look for uh, <laughs> somebody on how you do it. Yeah, uh, and there's plenty of them. So uh, there there are lots uh, a lot brainier than I am for uh, sorting out programs. Um, I just pinch a bit from here and pinch a bit from there. You know, is what it's like. You 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 copy a bit here, copy a bit there. Just see how it goes, uh, and then you modify everything to your or to your liking, and that's what I did. So yeah, so there we go. That's uh, that's how I put uh, put the slideshows together, and each one is different, of course. You can't keep them all the same, uh, but there we go. That's how I did this one. It's very very simple. It's got to be simple for me. So yeah, thanks for watching, um, and. Uh, I'll uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Or well, technically, you'll see me. I won't see you. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Like. Uh, give me a comment. Drop me a couple of comments in the bottom. Good, bad, or whatever. I do read them all. Okay. So say, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.